So I am going to change the extension number on this PABS. So to do that, I'll press program and then impute the password, which is star star ash one two three four ash. Now when I impute that, I'm going to press enter, which is going to take me to the programming console. Then I'll scroll down to 003, which is the extension area. Or you can press 003 on your on the keyboard. Now I want to change room number 212. I want it to now ring as 306. So I'm going to scroll down to 212 and try to change it to 306. So now I have 306, I'm going to press enter and see what happens. But when I press enter, I notice I'm going to press 306. No, it's supposed to be 306. So I'm going to clear and 306. As you can see 306 is not um, entering the programming mode and that is because 306 is already engaged to another number is already engaged to another room so what i'm going to do right now is to go back to room 303 and then i am going to give it an out of range number so i am going to go to 303 and give it a number that is out of range 981 or 992 okay 992 is out of range i'll give 306 to 992 now so that 306 will now be free for me to use so now that i've um given 306 to an out of range number i'll go back to 212 and try to change it to 306. All right, so I have my 212. Now I input 306 and I'll press enter or store anyone. You can see that it has gone through from the indicator light on the store button. You can see that it's blinking red, which shows that this change is successful. So I'll go to the next number I have on my list. I have a list of number I'm working with. I have 137. I want to change it to 812. So what I'm going to do is to scroll down with my arrow button to 137 and I'm going to press punch in 812. So I have my 137, I'm going to punch in 812 and I'll press enter or store button whichever one is convenient for you. You can see that um, the number change is accepted from the store button. You can see that it's blinking red, which shows that the number is accepted. So I'll go to the next number I have on my list here. I have 132, I want to change it to I have 132 and I want 132 to change to 802. So I'm going to press enter or store button, whichever one is convenient for you. So I'll go to the next number. I have 104. I want it to be changed to 803. Okay, so that is done. You can see the way this is just going smoothly. Initially, the reason why and the first number didn't go smoothly was because the 306 I wanted to enter is already engaged to another room. So I have to give um, 306 to an out of range number so that 306 will be free for me to use. So I will go to the next number I have on my list here. So I have one, three, eight, 
136, I want it to be changed to 804. So I have my 136, I'm going to punch in 804 now, then press enter or store button. So enter or store button and that is it, it is done. So if for one reason or the other you press the button and it didn't go through or it didn't show that red light on that store button area, that means the number is engaged to another room. So you just give the number to an out of range number and then you go back and try to change the number just like I did earlier. Okay, now for my next number, I want to change room 129. I want it to now ring as 807. So I have my 129. I'm going to punch in 807. Press either enter or store button. You can see that once it is successful, it will show you that red light on the store button area. So that way you know that the number change is successful. So let's go to the next number we have on our list here. I have 107 to be changed to 805. So I'll press my enter and stop button and that is it. It is successful. So the next number I want to change on my list is 125. I want it to ring as 806. So I'll punch in 806 and press either enter or store button, whichever one. Once it's successful, to show me that red light on the store button area. So I'll go to the next number. I have 164. I want to change it to 806. Or 164, I want to change it to... I wanted to change it to 8... Oh, it's rather so 164 will be changed to 808. So we'll go to the next number. I have 106 to be changed to 809. So I'm going to punch in my enter button, and that is it, it is done. So we'll go to the next number we have on our list. So we have 141, I want it to be changed to 810. So once I scroll down to 141, I'm going to punch in 810, then press enter. And if for one reason or the other I didn't go through, that means that number is already engaged to another office or another room. So I will just go back and give the number out to an out of range number. So that is done now. You can see that it's blinking red on the store button. Now the next number I have here is 167. I want to change it to 903. So I will scroll down to 167. I have 167. I'll punch in 903 and press enter or store button, whichever one is convenient for you. And if it shows the red light on the store button, that means it's successful. So that is it. We'll go to the next number we have on our list. So I will try to do an out of range number. So in case you have a number that is out of range, for example, you want to do a number that is 1000 upward. We have 147, I want to change it to 1001. I'm going to do another video where I'll show you how to convert um, to an out of range number or a number that is four digits long. In the next video, just watch out for the next video. I'm going to show you how to do this. So you can see I try to, um, change 147 to 1001. Let's see what will happen. You can see it didn't go through. That is because there's something I still need to do before I'll be able to enter into four digit number. So stay tuned in my next video. I'm going to show you how to do that. So just like I said earlier, if you try to punch in a number and it didn't go through, then the number is probably engaged to another room or another office. So what you do is that you scroll down to get that particular number and then you um, give the number out to an out of range number. What I mean by an, an out of range number is a number that you know you are not using. So thank you for watching. I'll see you some other time.